Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. Today I'm going to show you how I made this Christmas centerpiece. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and share. For this centerpiece, you're going to need a Dollar Tree gold tray. You're going to need a block of foam, and you can get your foam at Dollar Tree. And I usually leave mine wrapped and just add some hot glue to the bottom of it and hot glue it right to my tray. I did not have any moss, but I would recommend adding moss after you have your foam glued to your tray. All of my floral picks for this centerpiece came from Hobby Lobby. So I have two of the long greenery picks and I'm going to put one on the left side and one on the right side. Now I am just going to push mine into the foam, but I like to reuse things, but if you're not going to be reusing it, you might want to add a dot of hot glue to the end of the pick before you push it into the foam. Make sure you fluff your flowers. So I just put one on the left and one on the right. When I'm making a centerpiece, I usually try to make my sides match and the front and back match. You don't have to do it perfectly, but I kind of try to do that. What I do on the left, I do on the right. What I do in the front, I do in the back. I picked up these beautiful gold glitter ferns at Hobby Lobby, so I'm just taking them, cutting them into shorter pieces. Now I purchased three of the fern picks, and I am just basically going along the edge of the foam, all around the edge, and adding the foam, uh, the fern. If I had had some moss, I think it would have looked prettier because that way you don't have to be as careful about making sure you're getting the foam covered. So if you can, cover your foam first with moss and then start adding your floral picks. So I just went around the bottom edge of the foam and I added the glitter fern. Just remember to leave some picks longer so that you can place them in the center of your arrangement. And then some pieces I am cutting shorter like these gold berries and just going to fill in. You will also need three poinsettias and I picked them up at Hobby Lobby and you're going to need some shatterproof Christmas ornaments for this arrangement and I picked mine up at Walmart and then you'll need some more greenery to go back and fill in any spaces that are empty and you might want to add some pine cones too. I think that adds a nice touch and a different texture.
in the end I just went back with some greenery picks I just cut them into shorter pieces and just filled in anywhere that I thought I could see the foam or it just needed a little something else this arrangement is very simple to make. I hope you enjoyed watching me make it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share, and if you have not subscribed, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And I think this arrangement would look so pretty if I had a gold table runner. So I think I'm going to look for one of those this week. I added a couple pictures to the end of this video of our newest addition to our family, Miss Willow.